Welcome to this week's episode of Your Manchester with me, Ms. Belinda Scandal. And me, Mr. Martin Wellin. How the devil are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm all right. What do you know? Yes. What have you been up to? Uh, I, well, I've been to a lovely garden party today. It, yes, a garden party? Yes, I have for charity. Well, you just scoffed a blinking cupcake then, a boy. You never mind pretending you didn't know. I think I inhaled it. <laughs> yes, I think But that. they were very nice. Where were they from? Yes. That's showing a them. lovely lady called Hazel made them. Look at these. Yes, look at that. Aren't they just delightful? Do you want to eat it? No, I don't want to put it in your food. I'm not. (laughs) Okay. I love that. I'm still on my coffee from Ezra and Gill. Oh, yes. Who have now opened in Liverpool as well. Have they? Yes, they don't stop. Go for a coffee, though, isn't it? (gasps) <laughs> It'd be cold, wouldn't it, by the time you got it back? I like uh, cold coffee. Do you, do you drink <laughs> coffee? Um, I, sometimes. I, I actually prefer a cup of tea, me. Do you? Yes. It doesn't surprise me at all. I bet you've got doilers and everything, haven't you? Uh, I do, yes. Sorry, just one second. <laughs> I'm in practice, everybody. I'm in you practice. You need to be practicing. We've had the uh, we've had the um, the um, the information <laughs> through for our pride show yes. of how we must treat you in your official capacity. Yes, because I'm being I'm standing in for the Lord Lieutenant of Greater yes. Manchester, aren't I? Um, now I'm struggling with this. Pride. Why? Because you and I were on a par. Because we're as rough oh, as we're as no, rough as our chin on a Monday we're morning. We're not on right? a par. I can assure you. Read my contract. That's right. I'm better. <laughs> so, and what it is is when we speak to each other, yes. we're just we're just quite common, aren't we? Really? Yes, we are. Aren't um, we? And then I've got to start behaving around you now. Yeah, it's about time to be perfectly <laughs> honest. I don't know. I'm going to go. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> I know, because you're coming to a, a ceremony as well. Oh, I, 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 I've had to buy have a new to, hat and everything. You have to stand up when I enter the room. Uh, yes, That's going to be interesting. I normally do that anyway, <laughs> trying to run it out. Um, but listen, wonderfulness, yes. wonderfulness. Today, yes. I had pleasure. Pleasure. Did you? I need to come to one of them ceremonies. <laughs> I had the pleasure of speaking to a lovely drag queen. Oh, uh, one yes. of my favourites was season three of RuPaul's... Dragging yes. race, <laughs> and uh, her name was Teresa. Teresa May. I remember her. Do you? Spanish, isn't she? But she lives over here now. How do you remember all these things? What? She well, lives... there's a clue, isn't there, in Teresa for a start? Well, I thought she was trying to be Teresa May. Well, it is a gag on Teresa May, oh, but right. it's Teresa because she's a, she's a Spanish sausage. Do you like Spanish sausage? Uh, I've had one or two. I like the small ones that they used to put on the buffet. They're a bit spicier and smoky. Oh, yes, they're nice. They're love. They're and lovely. I quite like a Spanish sausage in a casserole. Do, do you? Yes. <laughs> if you simmer one, it, it goes lovely and soft. Oh, I love a toad in my hole. I do, honestly. It's lovely. Are we doing that gag again? Yeah, there we go. Uh, <laughs> Bring it all back. When you speak, it's like, which date shall I pick out of the Rolodex, please? <laughs> Quite Rolodex. Rolodex. Oh, <laughs> I'm only 21, you know. Yes. Uh, and some months. <laughs> just a, uh, I was... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, you're younger than me. Yeah, only Joss. But you are. I know, I know. Mm. 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 God for Botox. Mm. And what people don't see when we do this show is I've actually got two crocodile clips on the back of my head and a bungee rope connecting me to somewhere in Cheetah Mill. Well, yes, it's um, attached what, to a bus. Watch, and when the bus goes past, <laughs> yeah. watch, you ready? Someone getting off. Hey, look at that. I must have lost weight. I've got lines in my neck. Let's have a look. Oh, I'm developing Deirdre. They're drawn on. They're not drawn <laughs> oh. <laughs> All the secrets are coming out. Shall we see what's on tonight's show? I'm not bothered, to be perfectly honest. No, so me go neither. On, go on, then. So that's what's happening on this mm. evening's wonderful show with you. Oh, right? fabulous, isn't it? We're nearly to 400 episodes, you know. Are we? Nearly up to 400 episodes. You wouldn't believe it. I mean, when it started, people must have said this won't last a week. I know. And we hear that every week, to be honest. But uh, My favourite comment was from Patrick Duffy. Oh, yes. I remember Patrick Bobby Duffy Ewing. being on this show. Yes. Yeah. For the anniversary. And he said, yes. um, <laughs> if you can last longer than, than the seven years, then, yes. then you've done all right. We're, we've nearly done it's that. It's true of marriage as well, isn't it? Seven year seven itch. Seven year itch. Mm. How long are you on? Seven years. No, ten years. Ten, ten years. years. Ten, ten years. years. We did 25 years. Did you? Yes. Mm. I said to somebody once, I shan't name the mother-in-law, but I said to her, <laughs> I said, what is the success of a long marriage? Because they're coming yes. to 50 years. Right. And they said, not seeing each other. 
Well, that does help, doesn't it? A lot of people say that, though. It does help. Having uh, the partner in a theatre tour is quite useful now and again. Anne's Uh, an exec. He's an exec. Is he? Apparently, I'm not supposed to call him. I never knew that. But he's an exec, so I very rarely see him because he's in his meetings all day, every day. Is that what they call the road sweepers now? (laughs) Mark, I nearly swore. (laughs) A refuse exec. If yours can have a world tour, mine can be in charge of all the train lines across the entire world. He is, isn't he? He's yeah. right off the rails, isn't he? Yeah. He's very impressed this week because he saw a Why sign with done? his company name on oh, about really? road closure. Oh, very you excited. must have been very proud. I want to take have a you picture. had a photograph? No, I didn't want to take one. I, to, I am <laughs> proud of him. I think yes. he's wonderful. He achieves we're a lot. in gold here because uh, is that for your in laws? Well, I don't know. Is it I, a tribute? I am. Um, look like a right pair of golden showers, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> it's our bumblebee colours. But yes. also, when I wore this on the way to the studio today, somebody yes. did ask if I worked at the arena. <laughs> so. <laughs> You're selling the MEN. I've got. Uh, <laughs> Got to be careful with that. Listen, that speaking of yes, arena, there's what? so many different shows yes. coming to our lovely, yes. lovely region, isn't it? Yes. There? Yes. And I've got on these three little cards here that say sale, because I nicked them from the shop, uh, that uh, I've got a few. <laughs> well, it's recycling. Uh, <laughs> show everybody. <laughs> <laughs> everything everything must go Very it's limp. all coming down um so yes i've written down here a few of the mm. <laughs> a few of the shows that are coming up over september well then let's discuss November, let's discuss so we've got here september at the lowry yes yes we do like the lowry we love the lowry murder on the orient express is now that's supposed to be terrific that i've yes. never seen the uh, a stage show version of it and i'm looking forward to seeing that yes i've not seen a stage i've been on the orient express who's playing poire uh, do you know I have absolutely no idea thank you uh, who's in it at all um, and then we've got at home oh, where at ho- not at your home oh not at my at home the theatre. at the theatre yes venue. Calamity Jane <gasps> oh the Deadwood stage is coming on over the hill yes. once I had a secret love yes, well, there's some lovely numbers well, isn't it though there's yes. some lovely yes. numbers you wouldn't know it by that that's, that's uh, underrated uh, but it's got so it many is. wonderful no I like it yes numbers, and uh, yes. Carrie Hope Fisher uh, Carrie Hope Fletcher is, oh Fletcher is yes playing the lead there. right I've met her yes yeah we interviewed her when she did Adam's family she talks of nothing else and uh, at the uh, Bridgewater Hall we oh, don't do oh, enough oh. with the Bridgewater Hall I know I'm going to make that thing and I love the Bridgewater Hall well of course you know it's on Springs <laughs> no, it is. The auditorium was built on springs. How? So that it's an old venue. Should, it's, it? it's not an old venue. Is it not an old venue? No. How old is it? There was a pub there called Tommy Ducks with all. Um, is that where Tommy Ducks? Yes, yeah. I've heard of that. Yeah. yeah. I had Nickers uh, tapes of it and money taped to the ceiling, and um, that's no. The Bridgewater Hall is built. The auditorium is on springs. Right. So when the tram goes past, it yeah. moves so that the acoustics are kept perfect, like a sprung dance floor. Yeah. Yes. So I've picked out in September the classical spectacular, oh God. which what's wrong with that? Nothing. Sounds cultured. Go on. No, it's not. Well, no, because it's classical music. You know, yeah, is right? it? You just don't know that you know it till they play it, with lasers and fireworks and all kinds of things. Is that a little bit dangerous inside a venue? Uh, with what's the floor? No. <laughs> If Catherine goes off and you're shot into space. Yeah, well. well, I'm just saying, it, it's, I have been to that before. I like shooting off good. into space. It's always good fun. Yes. What else is going on there? That in October. Yes. 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 Um, at the, uh, see, I can't read it. At the Stockport Plaza. Oh, now. Now. Get me a Ted. Like, get me were, a Ted. Yes. Go on. The Lady Boys of Bangkok. Not natural. No, it's, it's not. Right. No, but if you like that kind of thing. You could give I it a go. They used to have their own tent. Never mind. They the did. My friend used to be company manager on that. Really? Yes, because it was Gandhi Circus that used to put that on in a big top. Gandhi Circus. Yes. Gan- Gandhi. That's the As name in of the family. Dries a flip flop. Philip Gandhi. No. All oh, right. No. And then, of course, at Hope Mill, <gasps> returning. Oh, Lizzie. Yes. I'm excited. Yes. If you like singing axe murderess, it or giving it away. Um, if you like singing axe murderesses, that's it's a only a story of two hundred years. But yes, <laughs> yes, yeah, no, it's fabulous. It's yes. that. Yeah, yes. Do you know I've stayed in the house where that actually took place? Get out! You have not. Mm, so it's a boarding house now. Boarding house. Boarding house. Is it yes. real still yes. there? Where is it? In uh, in America. Oh, in America. Yes. Oh. And it's all done up as it was that night. Is it? And they have an axe Lush. on the sofa. They they do. Do. They really? Do. Yeah, so and you stayed there. I have stayed there. Oh, yes. 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 
Uh, I've had a few rough nights in my life. That was one. Um, now, it's because you're from Bristol. <laughs> Go on. I, I am my lover. That's right. <laughs> um, now, I shall say this one only once. <gasps> hello, hello. How did you get that? Ghetto. Are they doing a show of it? They're doing hello, hello on a train. Oh, God. <laughs> it's on the East Lanks Railway. And you go and have dinner on the train and it's all acted out around you. No. No, not for you. No, I'd no. be embarrassed. <laughs> well, the Musical's coming back. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Our Stephen went to see that. Yeah, he did. And we got to speak to Todd Cole about yes, that. Yes, that's coming back to the Opera House. Same cast? Oh, I have no idea. Okay. And in November, yes. we have got... <gasps> Here she come. Here you come again. The new Dolly Parton musical oh. is coming to Larry. That's written by Jonathan Harvey. Oh well, all right then. I reserve the judgment. Sheffield, I think yes. Okay. So that might be a good one at the Larry. Right. Actually, good Lovely. thing. On. Royal Exchange for Christmas is doing spend, spend, spend. Lovely. Yeah. Bit of Nicholson story. Chicago's what? What? I don't know. You don't know. I it? don't know. Oh, it's a lovely show that you. Sounds know. like. It's a real story. How shopping. No, it's about a lady called Viv Nicholson from Yorkshire who won the football pools big and she went right off the rail. She was very like Diana Dawes. Oh, oh the plot you, and everything. You need to go and see it. Oh, I'm intrigued. It's like good. character. Go we did that at the Coliseum. Chicago's coming back to the palace. Yes, we know. Who's playing in it? I don't know. I tried oh. to find out this afternoon. There's no one listed, you know. So are you, hoping to, are you hoping to play Velma? No. Or uh, Mary Sunshine? I've always wanted to be the um, ramp that they run up and down. <laughs> well, I mean, I like that show because even if you don't like the show, there's a lot of very good-looking boys in leather and netting, and who can't search. Uh, and then just to tip off for uh, oh, uh, tip off uh, now, uh, February good-looking boys, and then the tip. <laughs> Go on, February yes. at the Waterside Arts, and I do actually have my ticket booked. Hey, that works well. Where is the Waterside Arts? <laughs> Say, oh, well done, you. Thank you. Well done. I never thought day. you noticed anything normally. Um, <laughs> oh, Sue Pollard. Going on a one woman show. So it is coming here then, because it doesn't say anything on it. No, at all, and I tried to find because she's at Blackpool. Yes. And, and I found out she's at the waterside in Sale. I've booked my ticket. Well, thanks for including me in that. <laughs> well, I wanted a nice night out, you know. So I'm going with Jane. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'll go with Sue Pollard. <laughs> hi, de hi. Ho, de ho. Again, I'm dressed for yes, it. You are, I'm dressed you? for it. <laughs> hey, that is I want to be a yellow coat. <laughs> hey, there you go. So Bye. there we are. A few things to look out for uh, coming to our region. Now you have been looking out for a few things. Last week only, you were looking out for yes. what I would like to describe <laughs> as the world's largest car park. It was like that, yes. But you kind of have corrected that by showing me the error of my ways and showing me exactly what that car park was there for and how it looked. Have a look <laughs> at this. For this week's walk, I've come a little bit out of our area. We're in Glossop in Derbyshire, just over the border from sort of Staley Bridge. And uh, this is Manor Park, right in the centre of the town. Manor Park goes back, well, as a, as a, as a private park, as the grounds of a stately home, back to the early 18th century. These were the gardens of a house called Royal Hall. And in the 1920s, they were given over to uh, the local council and turned into a public park. And they're absolutely beautiful. Uh, just around the corner, in the other half of the park, there's a huge event going on today. We've never seen so many cars. And that's what we've come to. This is the classic car show, which takes place every year here in Glossop and raises money normally for three local charities. Yes, one of the biggest car rallies apparently in the uh, northwest, um, all here in this little park in Glossop, and raising a huge amount of money for charity. That's the other thing, and loads and loads of volunteers from good organisations all around the northwest here. So these wonderful attractions bring in people and help people too. I'll see you next time. Best known for appearing in the third season of the UK version of RuPaul's Drag Race and most recently seen in the second series of Drag Race UK vs The World, Your Manchester is proud to announce to have Chorizo May on today's episode. Chorizo was the first Spanish contestant on the UK version of Drag Race and was involved in the first ever double elimination on Drag Race UK alongside River Medway. She has announced that she will be going on a solo tour across the UK including our very own Manchester. 
Chorizo has promised a lot of laughs, extravagant costumes, and she might be lip syncing to some of your favourite songs. And joining us now is Chorizo May. How are you and welcome to the show. Hello, how are you doing? I'm so well, thank you. Back in Newcastle, so all is good. Newcastle. How long have you been in Newcastle for? I've been living here for almost nine years now. And do you like Newcastle? I, well, I have to, don't I? I don't have a choice. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not as good as Manchester, I have to say, but I mean, it's doing uh, all right, isn't it? Manchester is gorgeous, you know, the, the North Cities, we, we, we love them. I have great passion for it. And we're going to be having you in Manchester very, very soon for your show. Now, tell us, uh, for those who don't know, what is uh, a Charitza May show all about? You know what, the Theresa May show is a show that I have been working on for over a year now. It is uh, my opportunity to finally bring everything that I do to the stage with my own rules and, and no one else's. I've been wanting to, to do my own woman show since, since I started doing drag. It's been one of my dreams and finally get to do it. So in my show, you're going to find stand-up comedy, you know, my own original music that I've been performing and writing since I started, since, since Drag Race, really. And... It's going to have a combination on all, on, on, on all that as well. It's going to have a, a bit of a message, uh, a bit of a political message. So it's going to be, it's going to be basically everything you expect Theresa May to do and more. And how has life changed for you since Drag Race? It's been quite crazy. For starters, I am able to do drag full time now. I was not able to do that before. Um, I was working in a graphic design studio and and little by little I started doing drag and taking time from, from the studio and then I started working only four days at the studio and doing drag three days a week and Drag Race really gave me that push that I needed to, to be brave enough. You know, when I started doing drag, the whole thing with Brexit was starting to happen. So I needed a safety net uh, that was my, my, my daily job, my nine to five job. And I was, was never brave enough to, to do the jump and do drag full time. But Drag Race gave me the platform and the confidence that I needed to do it. And it's been nonstop ever since. Yeah. And um, we, we, we hear on the peripheral um, some strange stories about what it is to be part of um, RuPaul's Drag Race. Uh, was the experience for you good? It was fun. You, you're right. Uh, different people will tell you different stories. For me, it's been fantastic. I've been part of Drag Race three times. I did season three. I was a guest judge on Drag Race España season two, and then I was back for Drag Race UK versus the World season two. And I do have to say, three times I had the ball. Um, I think for me, Drag Race was always... Um, maybe it was less about winning and more about making a long lasting impression and using it as a platform to, to achieve the dreams that I had in mind. Um, maybe probably that's why I didn't win none of the times that I was part of it, but um, it's been, many queens can say the same. I hold a really nice memory of the filming time and I can watch every season that I've been on and be proud of what I brought and very excited. I mean, the Olympics are on at the moment, and RuPaul's Drag Race is referred to as the Olympics of drag. Would you agree with that? No, no, not necessarily. Um, I think the Olympics, the best, the best of the best go to the Olympics. I don't think being on Drag Race necessarily means you are the best drag act in your country, if I'm, if I'm fully honest. I think um, it's a TV show. It's an entertaining TV show, and there's drag in all different levels. There's obviously queens like Danny Beard who have done it, uh, for many years and it's undeniable that she's one of the best queens in the country but uh, there's many other queens that uh, i went on drag race uh, having only done drag for two years i wouldn't say i was one of the best drag acts at the time when i very first got on drag race so no and i, and I think people need to understand that i think many queens who are not on the show who are very talented do not understand it's like wait i'm so talented why am i not there i deserve a spot there it's not a selection of the best queens and the most talented queens it's a tv show and they cast a group that is going to work very well together and make entertain entertaining tv and they do that very well they i mean proof is that there are so many seasons in so many countries and how did you get into drag then why, why did you end up falling into this wonderful profession well um i started doing drag in newcastle uh, it was um, when i moved here um that if i'm honest i i very struggled a lot to find my community I struggled a lot to make friends when I, as, as an immigrant who didn't speak very good um, English at the time. Still don't. Um, but at the time it was even worse. Um, I really struggled to to find uh, to find people who who I really related to and who I would consider friends. And when I started going out on the scene and I started seeing the drag shows, there was a point where I realized, well, 
wait, this is, these are my people. These are the people I connect with. These are the people I'm going to be working with. These are the people who I want to hang out with. And there has always been that urge in me of, of, of doing something a bit more artistic, like, like drag, for example. And I saw there was a local competition called Drag Idol Newcastle. Uh, nothing to do with the other drag idol that it's national. We have like a, a, a Newcastle specific one. And I entered, I prepared for it for like five months and I prepared very well and I won the competition. And then since then it's been, it's been nonstop two years after I got in drag race and then two years after again on drag race. So it's just really been competition after competition, growing as an artist and being proud of, of, of what I started, which is Newcastle. It's fantastic. Like we say, you are coming to Manchester. What's the dates when you're coming to Manchester? Where can we find you, Teresa? So I'm touring the whole country, but Newcastle, um, Manchester is where we kick off on the 31st of August. I am so excited. Yes. Just after Pride. Absolutely. I know. Ooh, there's going to be a lot of sore heads at your show that night, I should imagine, Teresa. <laughs> it's going to be fantastic. In just a few words, there's going to be lots of shows on that weekend. Why should they come to yours? I think you should come to my show because it is everything that you would expect. It's going to be political. It's going to have a message. It's going to have original music. It's going to be a drag, a celebration of drag and a celebration of someone who fell in love with drag in this country and is ready to take over with, with her own show. And that's, that's what we're going to do there. And we are there to entertain. So I'm sure everyone is going to have a fabulous time. Excellent. Well, I'm looking forward to this one. Definitely. You were one of my standouts over on season three. Um, absolutely mm. fantastic. It's character. That's why I always say in drag, it's about having a good character. You've got a great character about you. Uh, thank you so much for your time today, though, Chiritsa. Thank you for having me. Pleasure to meet you. I'll see you around. Your Manchester is a weekly studio show and a weekly podcast. It's fantastic. It covers everything to do with Manchester and its surrounding areas. And we focus on everything going on in Greater Manchester, the whole of Greater Manchester. And it primarily focuses on you, the people of Manchester. We do theatres, we do charities, we meet lots of interesting people. And sometimes we're required to do rather stupid things as well. Because every story counts. Your Manchester is great fun. It's half an hour. Uh, you never know what's going to happen. We never know what's going to happen, to be perfectly honest. And it's just a good laugh. It's like joining us for a half hour party. So far in your Manchester, we've been lucky enough to speak to the likes of Jay McDonald, Jake Shears, Hillary Clinton. The list goes on, as well as getting a very exclusive interview with some of the cast of Coronation Street, because it all goes on. Join me, Mark Llewellyn, every week. Join me, Miss Belinda Scandal, every week on Your, Your Manchester. Manchester, Manchester's number one talk show. All going uh, on. I had no idea I'd even film that. And that was ages ago, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, we were drugged to uh, I'll tell you what, we must remember. Yes. We must remember that Pride is coming up. Yes. And we must remember that if you are interested in getting a little sneaky ticket, everybody, mm. that's how I'm going to stay, a little sneaky ticket, go to our website, www.yourmanchesteryourmcr.com. Yes, <laughs> yourmcr.com. And what can you do on that? Well, you can check out our shows, you can check out our outtakes, you can book yeah. your tickets, you can watch the pod, watch the podcast, listen to you the can podcast. Listen to that you can see all kinds of things, aren't you? But yes, you can book your ticket for Pride, and we're going to be there. What a Pride! Yes, I sincerely hope so. Yes, I couldn't are. imagine a your Manchester show about his two main hosts. No, that's right. So we are uh, on the Alan Turing stage in Sackville Gardens on Sunday, the twenty fifth of September, and we're there from half past three until half past six, aren't we? With a fun patch of who is joining us? Like? Well, on that show, we have got the one and only Lee Anthony with his nineties classics. We've also got the one and only David Stewart. He's going to bring you loads of his beautiful um, music as well as that we're also bringing you ashton and we've got the bar pop show team doing their unique show for mm -hmm. us and uh we've got me and we've got a, a lovely lady that i like to refer to as inspiration um others call her rita or some know her as barbara knox <laughs> mb yes um i just think she's fantastic and i can't wait to see her no that's right and she is going to be the recipient 
of this year's Your Manchester Icon Award. Because she's an icon. She's an icon. Yes. And we've, uh, we have voted for her, haven't we, and chosen her. Because we get that, because we're important, you see. We get to choose who gets the Icon Award. Um, and so Barbara Knox... Uh, will be joining us during the show. Yes. Yes, receiving the award. Yes, right. Are you excited about meeting Barbara Knox? I am. We've just got to make sure that I don't look like her. Yes, that's true. She Sometimes might. you do have a passing resemblance. I can't help it. It's just the way I am. Yes. You know, a few years ago, many would have said I was Pat Phoenix. Now I've morphed into Rita. Yes, I might have said Ivy Tilsley at one time. That was my lips. <laughs> when we used to stick you on the window, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, so, so, if you want to see Miss Barbara Knox, you need yes. to join us in Sackville Gardens for the special show. Oh, well, should I make sure you tweet using the hashtag your MCR to get um, your potential messages read out on the stage as well. Yeah, so, it's all so it'll be a great time, won't it's it? It's going on. And, um, and you're going to be at the, uh, or we're both, I don't know, I've not been contracted yet, for the parade. Oh, we'll be there for the parade, yeah. Yes. Running up and down, as always, thinking that I'm Challenge Annika. Yeah. You're going to do some running as I'll well. I'll be Kenneth Kendall. In the studio. <laughs> no, I'll be there, actually. Okay. I'll just be old. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we'll be running about, won't we, on, well, uh, on we don't in, the, stop. in the city centre. We don't stop. So, And then after Pride, we'll be bringing you some special shows uh, looking back at those two events. That is correct. But for now, though, we are... Um, we are out of time, I do believe. Are we? And you always seem so surprised. Well, I am because I'm enjoying myself so much. I think it goes like that, doesn't it? It's amazing how um, pretending that you like somebody can really use up the time quickly. Or pretending that you're not that you're surprised when you've got somebody in your ear saying, <laughs> "Shut up, wrap it up." Well, that spoiled the magic of television, well, hasn't go. it? So watch the next bit now. Check out our podcast Sunday. <laughs> Waving his hand around. Check out the podcast. Oh, thank you. Oh, Check out this big finger over moving there. up and down. Yeah, uh, podcast on on Wednesday. No one Tuesday. On Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> thank you. And uh, also check out the website. Till then, thanks to everybody for watching this week's episode of Your Manchester. Manchester.